They came from my flash, and I said nothing because it's going away in July. Microsoft what is officially ripping it oh. out of Windows completely, and server, and Windows 8 embedded, oh, right. and Windows 8. Not only, you did not say anything. You you ratted on Flash to the authorities. <laughs> you, you told them where it was hiding. <laughs> yeah. Officer, it's over there. I have an, on, an anonymous tip. <laughs> so for those who are stuck in their ways or something, if you use Flash on Windows 10, you're going to be in some trouble in July because Microsoft is uh, ripping its heart out and officially... You're using Flash on Windows 10, you're in trouble today. Well, yeah, I guess that's a better point, too. Yeah. Um, HTML5, it is the future. It is 10 years future. ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, that was sort of whatever. And then there's also the Sony partners with Discord. So this was one I kind of sort of well it's interesting for multiple reasons because we all know what yeah. Microsoft was trying to do but if mm -hmm. you think about other Sony investments in the past like five months or whatever it was remember they put some money into Epic too so they invested in it's Epic. almost like they're investing in things that compete with Microsoft yeah it's like they're building up their own little <laughs> like Although, ecosystem which is weird because the other thing I'd say about Sony that has really changed over the past year especially but really mm -hmm. the roots of this go back a couple of years is uh, Sony, from a video game market or a video game uh, business perspective, has really pivoted to be more like Microsoft, right? Yeah. I, I, so they're kind of, might look, Microsoft is a distant number two or three, I don't know, but uh, compared to uh, PlayStation, of course, or Xbox is, but they clearly see something there, which, you know, it's the same thing I see. And I, I and I mm -hmm. say that not as a Microsoft fan, I just as a player of video games, I kind of look at what these companies are doing and I see things I like and I don't like and whatever. And there are things Epic does, for example, that I think are kind of incredible from a community standpoint, but from an all up, all inclusive, everything in the platform. I mean, I don't think there's anything like Xbox uh, and Sony must see that too. Yeah. Well, you think about it, it makes sense because in theory now Discord can be part of their, you know, quote unquote, like community for PlayStation. And then when they want to sell games on the PC, it would make a lot of sense for them to put them into the Epic Store rather than Steam potentially. Yeah. What uh, do you say to the fact that I, th I believe I don't see any reason why Microsoft couldn't make a similar investment? Yeah. I don't... So integrate Discord in, without owning them, right? Right. So the timing of this is interesting because I believe Sony said that this was part of like a Series H round for Discord. So my assumption here is that Discord kind of maybe started out saying, hey, we want to raise some money like or something. And then that probably progressed into every company to be like, we'll buy you. And that's where all these rumors came from. And then they went back and said, nah, we're just going to take investments. Uh, so... Well, I mean, they uh, they took some of these offers pretty seriously, right? Yeah. I mean, I mean who won it? Accelerated their offer... Um, I, I think what they were looking was for was whatever the best financial outcome, right? Mm -hmm. For the founders or the shareholders, whatever they have. Um, oh, well, they're uh, investors, I guess, because they've had many rounds of investment. Um, and they determined somehow, I, I mean, I can't, walking away from a $12 billion payday doesn't make us like a lick of sense to me, but they clearly yeah. see something there and believe it could work. And, you know, anyway, there's no reason Microsoft couldn't do what Sony just did, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it may not be exactly the same thing, but they they could absolutely partner with, uh, I almost said Parler for some reason. No. <laughs> Discord. Um, please don't part. Parler. Um, and uh, bring that to the Xbox platform in a, you know, in a more cohesive way. Yeah. Yeah, just a matter of if they will. I, I can't imagine that Sony wouldn't have, I mean, I don't know. We th There's been so much content that has come out from this Epic and Apple um, battle mm -hmm. or court case, if you will. I mean, there's just hundreds of pages of documents and talking about how Sony was trying to limit certain like cross-play functionality, how they really didn't like that, how there's things, um, Apple really being aggressive about not allowing third-party apps and, and stores and all sorts of stuff. Uh, but one of the things that has come out is that Sony has pretty restrictive terms on a lot of the stuff that they do. I mean, if they're paying money for it. So it makes you wonder if they try to slip in there like, hey, if you're going to partner with us, if you're going to take our investment, you got to right, right, right. cut off that Microsoft little thing you got going on there. Yeah, that uh, behavior that you just mentioned is one of those shifts we've seen at Sony because they prevented Minecraft crossplay. They prevented um, mm -hmm. other, ga other games. But, Fortnite, um, I believe, was a big one. Yeah, okay, there you go. So uh, they've turned around on that, right? Um, mm -hmm. They've 
And, you know, I, I feel like Sony is in such a strong position in the market and has such a reliable catalog of hit games and more to come that they can afford to open that up. Um, which, by the way, is, you know, generally speaking, not to get off on an Apple tangent, which is, you know, Apple is so powerful and is mm -hmm. uh, such incredible margins. Like, people are like, well, you don't understand. It costs money to run the App Store. Oh, actually, no, it doesn't. Um, th that thing makes an incredible profit. Um, they could operate that uh, with much smaller margins and still be hugely successful. Um, anyway, at some point, you hit this kind of market dominance, uh, and you can you don't have to keep doing what you were doing before. In fact, you know, it may become illegal, you know, depending on how you view these things. And so whether Apple or Sony, which Sony, no one has ever taken Sony to court, at least in an antitrust way, mm -hmm. uh, they proactively made some changes on their own. I, I understanding, you know, that things were changing, I think, but hopefully Apple will too. Yeah. Who knows? Because they're going to be forced to make some changes at some point. I mean, whether it's Epic or, Spotify or you know whatever the case you uh, choose to point to just a lot of a lot of regulatory pressure um, yep. coming out of that and the thing is is we all know how that court case is going to go some decision will be made and then it will be pushed around the courts for a while appealed things yeah um, I, I think the problem for Apple is like even if Apple somehow won this case mm -hmm. uh, there are so many cases that the pressure is not going to come off if they winning this doesn't help too too much although I suppose it provides a bit of legal precedent um We'll see. We will see. What else is going on in the world today? Uh, yeah, it's been kind of a slow, <clears throat> excuse me, a slow week. Yeah, nothing. It's Tuesday. <laughs> it's it been is. kind of a. Uh, well, there's that Xbox uh, FPS boost thing, which I yeah, seventy four games. So now up to like ninety seven. Well, yeah, that's the thing. I mean, so that means they were at twenty three. <laughs> yeah. Before so they they've quadrupled, I guess, the number of. Uh, titles and it's you know that's great. i would imagine this whole process has to be really easy the probably the hardest part is actually testing it i mean clearly if they can do 97 games or whatever they just apply whatever voodoo magic it is then probably somebody has to go play through the entire game a couple times to make sure yeah, you gotta make sure it doesn't screw up the the gameplay that remember right. the you might not remember this you're a little younger but there used to be like turbo buttons on oh, yeah. pc right so I assume what that did was amp up the clock speed this, these were processors were fairly basic compared to what we have today but um, that actually could screw some things up, <laughs> you know, so mm -hmm. depending on what you were doing, you might want to, like, if you played a game, you might want to turn it up. And if you were just doing like word or something, you probably would leave it off or something or whatever, however it worked. But, uh, yeah, it can cause problems. Faster isn't always better. <laughs> uh, just ask Tiger Woods. What... Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Almost walked that one back. And then I would... Yeah. Uh, you know, I think the fact that he survived... Um, okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll leave that one in for this time. God, I, I wasn't. I was just so caught off guard by that. Um, <laughs> Sorry. So, yeah. Um, anyways, the comments are up and running. We had one minor snafu yesterday with the forum post, but that appears to all be resolved. Life should be good. Yeah, I mean, these things are. You know, there are always going to be little things. Um, yeah. I, th I look. I. I really like the way it looks. And you and I have been pushing for, I think others too, you know, in integrating the premium and non-premium customer mm -hmm. uh, comments rather. And, uh, you know, you and I, we've talked about this privately. I, I don't remember anymore, honestly, the rationale for this. I mean, I think a lot of what we did was like, we want to make this experience better for people who are paying kind of thing. But mm -hmm. it's one of those things, and there's so much in life like this where it sounds great. Uh, it's a really good, well-intentioned, you know, weren't trying to hurt anybody, weren't trying to make the site worse, whatever. And it just became obvious, uh, actually yep. probably pretty quickly, this wasn't the right approach. So um, I'm glad, glad we got that done finally. Yeah, just glad we're done. Yeah. Speaking of done. <laughs>